Hey guys, David Fine here from Keys Mods and what we're doing, we're witnessing the miracle of metamorphosis right in front of us. Guys, this is a red spotted purple caterpillar and it's in the J position and it's about to pupate and I wanna walk you through step by step on what takes place. Guys, it's, it's super hard, like they sit in this J position for hours and hours and then you try to witness it actually take place and then you turn around with what seems like just a few minutes and then you turn around and there's a, there's a chrysalis there. So we are going to try and capture the whole thing on film and do a play-by-play -play for you. Stay tuned if you want to see this thing make its chrysalis. Check it out. All right, guys, we have our first pre-pupil J-positioned red-spotted purple caterpillar. As you can see, he's hanging in this position called the J position. What they do is they spin a little silk pad and on the leaf or the leaf vein. And then there's a appendage called a cremaster on the back end of the butterfly caterpillar, which has a whole bunch of little hooks that holds on to the silk. And there they hang. And within the next hour or two, this guy will become a chrysalis. Look at this guy, fantastic. See if I can get in on that cremaster. There's the silk, and there's a, all these little hooks that hold on to the silk, and that's what the chrysalis hangs from. So excited to see a chrysalis of a red spotted purple, guys. Stay tuned. The struggle, guys, is so real. I mean. The, the muscles have been pushing and pushing and pushing. I've been watching this, sitting here literally watching this for an hour. And this thing is working really hard. Like an internal struggle to try and split the skin and start the pupation process. And you can see the, the abdomen gyrating. The head capsule now is literally, its head is not inside of the head capsule. That head capsule is just a shell. There's a, there is a chrysalis inside of this larva right now, and it's just trying to, trying to break free, but it's got no hands and no tools. All it has is some muscles, and it's trying to get all the weight and pressure up to that thoracic region, get that thing started, get that skin split so it can start. So the tough part, guys, is just trying to figure out when does, when is this thing actually going to make its chrysalis and turn into a chrysalis? So few people have ever watched this because it just takes patience. And I wanna walk you through it, guys, but there are a few indicators on things that you can look for that can help you determine when the caterpillar is getting ready to make its chrysalis. And so, um, you know, first we'll start by showing you some of these images of the early J position. As you can see, it looks just like a caterpillar and it's got very normal caterpillar-like features. One of the ways that you know that the caterpillar is ready to actually split that skin and begin to make its chrysalis is when it straightens out of the J position and it straightens out and you see how the head is kind of coming more down. It looks like it's more stretched out. Not, not as much of a J position, but almost more like a, a lowercase L position. Once it starts to take that form, you know that it's not long before the skin splits behind the thorax we're just waiting for that to happen, guys. It's gonna split right by where those scoli are. And once that, uh, once that skin splits, the magic happens. He's really pushing now. You can see the abdominal segments just in a snake-like motion are, they're contracting and contracting and contracting. Guys, I think it's gonna happen any second You can see that the thoracic region just swelling and it just needs to split.
When is it going to happen, guys? Look at the scully. Guys, it is happening. The skin has split. It is totally happening right now, guys. The skin is split and you can see the scoli that are moved off to the side and are now being worked down the length of the body. It's hard to tell where, it's hard to tell where the old skin begins and the new skin of the chrysalis starts because the new skin of the chrysalis actually looks much like caterpillar skin and then once the caterpillar skin is gone then the chrysalis will harden into its final shape but you can see the scoli that were on top of the head just being worked their way down the body this is so cool guys we are watching metamorphosis in action as we speak we try and get a little bit of a side view Try not to interfere with my camera video there. All right, look at that, guys. It's happening right there. So the chrysalis has muscles, guys. And so the, the chrysalis still is the, the animal. It's got muscles inside. And before the chrysalis hardens, it still is gyrating and wiggling. And as we'll even show you, when it, even when a chrysalis is fully hardened, the abdominal segments still can move and that chrysalis can still twitch its abdomen. Uh, but right now, the head, okay, it's almost completely done, guys. Look at the scoli from the, from the thoracic region are all the way down by the cremaster, guys. It's almost complete. Almost complete. Now, the funny thing is, how does, how does it get the skin with those scoli off if it's attached? This is super interesting because what'll start happening is it'll start to twist. And when it starts to twist, what it's doing is it is trying to dislodge that old caterpillar skin with those scoli hanging off there and you'll see it drop off there eventually he'll start to twist violently he wants to get rid of that thing look at that pupa struggle so the chrysalis is struggling guys it's even twisting look look he's twisting 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 here it goes guys he is struggling big time to get that skin off. Look at them. Very few people have sat and watched this like this, guys. I got news for you. This is what a butterfly goes through. Every single butterfly that makes its chrysalis goes through the same process, trying to get that skin off. All right. He's calmed down here for now. The skin hasn't fallen. Oh, oh, there he goes. He wants it off. You can see he's just determined to get, oh, there it goes guys. The skin came off. And I'll show it to you. There it is. Oops. I'm gonna try and do this in a way that doesn't interfere with my other video, but there's the skin, guys. It came off. All that is is a layer of skin. The old head capsule is there. The scoli is there. And now our chrysalis will begin to harden. And as, I don't think he realizes that he's his skin has shed yet but he just keeps twisting and twisting and twisting. But um, guys, now you can see as the, there's a little bump on the 
where the ab abdomen and the thorax kind of join on Lemonitis chrysalises, the Viceroy has the same little bump. You can see the wing pad form. I'm looking at the side of the, of the animal right now. The wing pad is where the wing will develop inside. There's a, a wing pad on each side. The abdomen is the long, white, narrow portion that's doing all the work right now. That little, that little bump, there's nothing really inside of it. It's just a fleshy little bump. Uh, is is very characteristic for Lemonitis genus uh, chrysalis. So, all right, it looks like he's calmed down finally. And this is not the final shape, guys. When he takes his final shape, we're going to give you some more uh, video action of that taking place. But this has been a very, very cool opportunity for us to see what it looks like and how a butterfly caterpillar actually becomes a chrysalis. And then once the, once the chrysalis hardens and takes its final shape, we'll get you another video of what that looks like. But it's done, guys. Metamorphosis is, uh, is underway. All right, guys, there you have it. We've waited about an hour. And now the pupa has taken its complete form. That's it, guys. The Viceroy chrysalis in full form, full shape. Uh, you can see the, the thorax has got that little bump now. And then there's that little, that little weird little hump that sits off the back of the abdomen, which I don't believe has any organs in it. It's just something for show, I guess, make it unique. But uh, the Lemonitis genus all have that little little bump there off coming off the abdomen. But uh, right just above that or below that, actually, the thorax has its uh, little mound there that's grown and taken shape. The wing pads have taken shape. Um, I'll show you a little bit of the front of the chrysalis. All right, so this is the this is the front of the chrysalis. So this would be the ventral side of the butterfly. You can see both wing pads there on either side. The head is on the bottom, obviously, with the eye chambers there. And then you can see the very clearly see the two antennae chambers that go from the back of the head all the way wrapping around down the outer margin of the wing pads all the way to the tip of the wings and then in between it's not very clear from this video but we can see the leg chambers and the proboscis chamber of this chrysalis and so what I'll try to do I'll try to get some better images with my Canon camera and uh, and get that to you so that you can see it but But that's it guys, the red spotted purple butterfly chrysalis is fully formed. And now it's just a waiting game. We've got, I don't know, 10, 12 days usually, maybe two weeks before they emerge. And uh, he's got a lot of siblings that are right behind him. They'll be making their chrysalis tomorrow and the next day. So we have a full lineup of red spotted purple chrysalises. We're gonna show you hopefully some freshly emerged individuals, guys. But hope you liked the video. You know, if you learned something, comment down below what you learned. I'm curious. And um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we've got plenty of more videos on the red spotted purple coming your way. We're gonna, we're gonna record the rest of the life cycle and show you the adults, which I can't wait because they are stunning. So guys, uh, like, subscribe, and share. Till next time, let's get out there and enjoy South Florida and see if you can find one of these. Take care now.